What's up, Wayne Baron? Here with DarkEffects.net, and as you can tell, we are inside of Sony Vegas Pro 13, and this is what I am doing a video on. Is this time right here? Two minutes and 25 seconds is how long it took to render out this video, which is uh, how long are you? Let's go ahead and close this out. So this video is one minute and 46 seconds. Okay, so. What the deal is, is that I rendered out this video uh, and I deleted it on accident. So I rendered, I rendered out this video with the CUDA. And uh, the CUDA engine rendered it out in like five minutes, I think it was. So what we got here is we come over here to file, render as, and then we have our Sony AVC NVC MP4 internet. Choose custom. And right here, Intel Quick Sync Video. This just appeared. I'm not really sure where it came from, but it's there. And these are the options that we are given. Uh, automatic recommended. Render using GPU only. Uh, render using GPU if available. Intel Quick Sync Video quality and speed. I chose quality on this one, and as you can tell, it rendered it out in like two minutes and something. What you do is you come over here to system, and you click on check GPU, and it's going to say uh, QSV is available, and then that's what you want to choose is Intel Quick Sync Video Quality. Super, super great. I mean, it rendered that video out. You saw it. It rendered it out super, super fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do a render uh, using GPU because I no longer have CUDA. It uh, removed CUDA from my list. So we're going to choose that one. We're going to click on OK. And then we're going to type in one right here. And let's go ahead and render this out and see how long it takes. Okay, and as you can see, it rendered it out in 3 minutes and 28 seconds. So it basically did it in one minute longer than using the other method. So I strongly suggest that if you have this available to you to use it, once again, file, render as, then you choose custom template, and then you choose render in Intel quick sync video and choose quality instead of speed. And so I have not done speed yet to see how fast it would go. So let's go ahead and do that one now. Let's click on OK and I'm going to do two for this one. And let's see how long this one takes. That's pretty sweet. So it did this one in about 30 seconds faster than what the uh, quality did. So let's, uh, let's take a look at something here. Okay, this right here is the quality from the uh, quick sync video for quality. Let's go ahead and stop it there. And this one right here, well, this one right here is from the um, the regular uh, the regular one. And then this one right here is from the uh, speed. So basically all of them about the same. Don't worry about the video quality of this video in particular because I downloaded this from YouTube just for this dude's performance. Uh, he's super, super great. His name is Simon. Can't pronounce his name, so it's Simon Columb. Anyway, this one right here is from The Voice in another country. But anyway, this dude does a great job on the song Come With Me Now. But anyway... Um, so this right here is some quick ways to render out your videos if you have it available. So what I suggest that you do is come over here and do render as and uh, see if you've got these options available to you. I lost the CUDA and so the, the CUDA did it in about five minutes and for some reason CUDA used to work fast on here but for some reason it slowed down a lot and then all of a sudden I lost it. So it's been replaced by the Intel quick sync video. So yeah, give this a shot and see how it does for your video for rendering out in speed. Y'all have a good one. I am Wayne Barron. This is darkfx.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend now. Bye-bye.